I'll try to keep this brief. Here goes. Splinter was missing. We searched for him. We found him inside the TCRI building. TCRI, by the way, are the same letters on the canister of ooze that turned us into mutants. Anyway, before we could rescue Splinter, we got sapped to the other side of the galaxy, to the planet Dahunib. Awesome technology. Bad timing. We met up with this robot, only he wasn't really a robot. He was a scientist whose brain accidentally fused with a robot's body. Professor Honeycutt, now the Fugitoid, has developed the technology for a teleportal device, which sounds like it would be our ticket home, except he refuses to build it, because these two warring alien races, the Federation and the Triceraton Republic, each want to use the device as their ultimate weapon to rule the universe. So, we're all on the run, lots of stuff blows up, lots of really incredible technology is used to either restrain us, hurt us, or transport us across the galaxy, and the Triceratons capture us and throw us in this gladiator arena to try to convince Hanika to build his teleportal device. We manage to break free and grab the Triceraton Prime Leader as a hostage. So, now all we need is a brilliant plan of escape. Suggestions? Anyone? For those of you just joining us, you're witnessing the greatest upset in Tri-Sports history! That's right, Raz! Four off-worlders have just taken our beloved Prime Leader Zanraman hostage! Drop the hardware, or your Prime Leader's lizard cutlets! Do... Do as he says. You know, it's not every day four off-worlders can bring the glorious Triceraton Empire straight to its knees! You've really got to admire their spunk! So, what do you think, Zed? Will they call for a timeout and make demands? Or go straight for the win with a hostile overthrow of the regime? So what do we do now, fearless leader? I don't know. I'm trying to think through all that racket overhead. Well, you know, Raz, this is clutch time. The deciding moment of the... That help? Actually, yes. Okay, let's try this. Professor Honeycutt, take us to your lab. Prime Leader, you're coming with us. Everyone else stay put and don't move a muscle. Which way to the lab? Well, there are actually several routes. The Triceraton homeworld, with its interconnected network of asteroid cities, is a bit of a maze, really. Show us the fastest way, Spike. Now! As you wish. Didn't you? I got you fast right here! Mikey, give me a hand welding the doors and hatches shut. Don, help Professor Honeycutt gather up everything he needs to construct his teleportal. You got it! Uh-huh. Raph, you got guard duty. Yeah, whatever. Excuse me, Leonardo. You don't actually intend for me to build the teleportal, do you? It may be the only way to solve the problem. But if I'm captured, the knowledge will surely fall into the wrong hands. You can use it to transport yourself and the device somewhere the Federation and Triceratons can't follow. Like Earth, for instance. If you don't build the teleportal, we'll never get home to rescue Master Splinter. Yes, by all means, help your friends build the teleportal. You keep out of this. The danger will always exist, whether or not you build the teleportal. What's to stop them from ripping apart your robot body and downloading all the data from your brain? Slag! Why didn't I think of that? Good one, Don! I'm sorry. Yes, I see. I'm afraid the only sensible solution is to blast me into scrap metal oh. right now. Wait! Professor, I was just saying... I didn't mean... Please. You're our only hope. <sighs> all right. But you must promise me one thing. If all goes wrong, if it looks like we are to be captured, then you must destroy me, so that my knowledge will never be used for evil and destruction. It won't come to that. But if it does come to that, will you swear on your honor to destroy me? We swear. Where's the fastest ship out of here? Hmm. Now let me think. 
You four turtles and Professor Honeycutt will have to make your escape in my personal cruiser. It's in my private space dock hangar. You heard the Prime Leader. Get the strike team in position now! We'll be waiting for them. My ship is in the next bay. Guys, get down! It's a trap! from this point. Unless, of course, we happen to run into the entire Triceraton space fleet. Attention, Professor Honeycutt. This is Commander Mozar. Return at once to the Triceraton homeworld, or face the wrath of the Republic's fiercest warriors. Can't say I'm happy with our choices. What? They're blasting straight for us! They must be insane. After them! Master Splinter always says, there is no greater weapon than the unexpected. <laughs> I really must meet this Master Splinter someday. He ain't out of the woods yet! The shield's up and running! Oh yeah! Don't get cocky, kid! Feeling confident in your piloting skills? Oh yes, rather. Good. Let's try to lose them in that asteroid field. Difficult part is over. Oh my. And 
the really difficult part is just beginning. Hello, Professor Honeycutt. I believe you have something that belongs to me. Or should I say, you are something that belongs to me. Did you really think the Federation would give up its most valuable scientific mind without a fight? They want to fight? Let's show them where they can find one. I want that Fugitoid alive, do you hear me? Alive! Yes, General. Get reacquainted. Ozar, what are your troops doing in this neutral sector? I could ask you the same question, General. We can't avoid them forever. We don't need forever. Just enough time for you and Professor Honeycutt to build that teleportal. Hmm. That planetoid should provide an ideal spot to construct the teleportal device. You wouldn't be hunting down a certain fugitoid who recently escaped from your home world, would you? How did you know Honeycutt escaped? You think we don't get Triceraton gladiators on Dehunib? It's our number one rated show! Wait! How did you know the Fugitoid is Honeycut? Why don't you ask your trusted aid? Lone? Lone! Seize her! You fellows will need atmosphere suits to work outside the ship. Fortunately, the Prime Leader's cruiser is stocked with special form-fitting suits that can configure to a multitude of alien anatomies. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's only three of them. <laughs> Commander Mozar, I order you to cease this unprovoked act of Triceraton aggression at once! I don't take orders from Federation Slime, General Blank. Commander, we have traced the warp vector pattern of the Fugitoid's cruiser to the Agarum Sector. Troops are on their way to apprehend him now! Thank you, Commander Mozar, for your assistance in this matter. The Federation will handle it from here. None of the Triceratons get there first! Guys! I'm picking up massive energy signals on the scanner! Looks like the Federation and Triceraton fighters are headed our way! We need more time! You'll have to stall them! How? Just keep them talking. Anything to stall them from attacking. Hope this thing has three-way calling. General Blank, Commander Mozar. I am Leonardo of the planet Earth. I demand an immediate ceasefire. And why should we agree to your demand, Earthling? Because if you blow us up, you'll blow up Professor Honeycutt along with us. Then nobody gets the teleportal. However, we'll give up the Fugitoid for a price. We will? I'm trying to all stay for I'm Tay. But first, we'll uh, need to broker a truce between the Federation and the Triceratons. We want assurances that neither side will use the teleportal technology for destructive purposes. Agreed. Huh? Wait! Don't you guys want to, like, argue about it some more? No. The Triceraton Republic is eager to settle this matter peacefully. Once we have the teleportal, we hit the Federation with everything we've got. The Federation is equally eager to avoid unnecessary conflict. Once we have the teleportal, we hit the Triceratons with everything we've got. Now, now bring, bring us, us the future toy! Uh, okay, but first we'll need to finalize your agreement. In writing, of course. That is, once we can determine a neutral meeting place mutually acceptable to both sides. Naturally, the Federation will require assurances of non-aggression from the Triceratons. 
prepare to attack. We Triceratons have always honored our treaties. Prepare to attack. It is the Federation who must provide assurances of non-aggression. Are you accusing us of treachery, Lizard? You Federation slime didn't force 150 planets under your rule by acting honorably. Well, maybe if you Triceraton buffoons hadn't managed to blow up your own homeworld, you wouldn't be living on a bunch of floating rock fragments. Hell escape! Over your own Lizard! This is better than a daytime talk show! How are we doing out there, Professor? Did we buy you enough time? I'm gonna say... No. This is an outrage! It just goes to prove the Federation can't be trusted! Tri-Fighters at 12 o'clock! It seems the Triceratons aren't to be trusted either! Hey! At least we got them to agree on something! Safe control. It will overload all my circuitry and wipe out my entire memory core. If you don't destroy me now, a weapon of ultimate destruction will fall into the hands of lunatics who will not hesitate to use it. I... I can't. You swore on your honor. Familiar. Yeah, and I didn't like it the first time. 